This is our fourth video in the Navaratri series sharing the significance of the goddess worshipped on the fourth day. To know the stories and worship methods for all the nine goddesses, watch the playlist linked in the comments below. The fourth day of Navaratri is dedicated to Ma Kushmanda, the creator of the universe. Her name comes from various Sanskrit words where Ku means little, Ushma means warmth, energy and under means cosmic egg. Thus, the name Kushmanda means the one who is the creator of this little cosmic egg called the universe. The word Ku also represents number one, so the name also suggests that she is the first source of all energy, light and life or the Adi Shakti Avatar. Ma Kushmanda is often called the smiling goddess as she created the whole universe with a little flashing smile. Ma Kushmanda has eight hands and is thus known as the Ashtabhuja Devi. She holds a trident, discus, sword, hook, mace, bow, arrow and two jars of amrit and blood. Her one hand is always on a Abhaya Mudra, from which she blesses all her devotees. She rides on a lion that signifies dharma. She is seated in the core of the sun, providing direction to Surya and dispelling the darkness of ignorance with her dazzling smile. She is the Jagat Prasuti, the mother who has birthed, energized and nurtured the universe. After their victory over Jatukasura, two formidable Asuras named Mali and Sumali began an intense tapasya of Lord Shiva. Their tapasya was so profound that it caused their bodies to emit a brilliant radiant glow. Suryadev, the sun god, noticed this increasing brilliance on earth and became intrigued. Leaving his usual position in the solar system, he ventured closer to investigate, inadvertently causing disturbances in the universe. Unaware of everything around them, the two brothers were deeply engrossed in meditation and remained oblivious to the sun's approach. As the sun drew nearer, the intense radiance reduced Mali and Sumali to ashes. When Lord Shiva learned of this, anger consumed him and he hurled his Trishul at Suryadev, rendering the sun god unconscious and casting the entire world into darkness. The disruption led to an imbalance among the celestial bodies. Rishi Kashyap, the father of the Devas, was devastated upon seeing Suryadev lying unconscious on the ground. Overwhelmed by sorrow, he cursed Shiva, prophesying that he would also experience the loss of his son. Realizing his grave mistake, Shiva turned to Parvati for assistance. He helped her realize that she was the ultimate source of all energy and the mother of the universe. Parvati then approached where Suryadev lay and conjured a sphere of fire and light, which we now know as the sun. As she emerged from the fiery ball, she radiated like the eternal beauty of the cosmos. With a little smile, she produced a cosmic egg, and from it, creation began unfolding, and galaxies, planets, plants, animals, insects, and human beings came into being. After creating the universe, Makushmanda created three supreme goddesses, Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, and Mahasaraswati. Mahakali was born from her left eye, Mahalakshmi from her center eye on her forehead, and Mahasaraswati from her right eye. From the body of Mahakali, a male and a female were born. The male, Shiva, had ten arms and five heads, while the female, Saraswati, had four arms and one head. Similarly, from the body of Mahalakshmi, a male and a female were born. The male, Brahma, had four arms and four heads, while the female, Lakshmi, had one head and four arms. 
when Ma Kushmanda glanced at Maha Saraswati, a male and a female were born from her body. The male was called Vishnu and had four arms and one head, while the female was named Shakti and had four arms and one head. Ma Kushmanda then gave Shakti to Shiva, Saraswati to Brahma and Lakshmi to Vishnu as their consorts. The Adi Shakti in the form of Ma Kushmanda bore the universe and chose to reside in the sun's core, fueling it with the power to radiate warmth and light to the universe. Her luminosity powers the sun and this radiant energy makes her known as the Surya Mandala Antarvardhini, indicating her presence within the solar system. When worshipping goddess Kushmanda, don yellow attire and adorn the deity with fragrant yellow sandalwood paste. While reciting the sacred mantra, present offerings of vermilion, sacred thread, unbroken rice grains and a touch of saffron on a beetle leaf as a loving tribute to the goddess. To enhance the divine connection, consider reading from the Durga Saptashati or Siddha Kunjika Stotra which can bestow profound benefits. As yellow holds a special place in Mother Kushmanda's heart, present her with yellow clothing, vibrant bangles, delectable sweets and the symbolic lotus during your devotional worship. Additionally, Offering the Malpua Bhog to the deity can usher in good fortune and invoke blessings upon the seeker.